Nice! The squirrel got it. Now he hops off. Digs a hole. Pushes the acorn in. Covers it with dirt. Acorn hidden to eat later. Yes, that's squirrel power. So, that's not the only acorn in the forest. An oak tree can drop 23,000 acorns in the fall. And the blue jay's got one. She flies off. Finds some soft soil. Pushes the acorn into the ground. Blue jays hide acorns. Well, squirrels can remember where they hid the nuts and dig them up in the winter. Memory. And hey, blue jays are bird brains. Ah, for a blue jay, that's a compliment. Because this bird brain is smarter than a squirrel. A blue jay is so smart, she can remember where she hid her acorns through the winter and into next spring and come back to the exact spot to eat it. Oh, better memory. You couldn't do that. Hmm. Get this. Any acorn a squirrel forgets to eat stays safely in the ground. Then, when the snow melts and the sun shines in the spring, those acorns grow into oak trees. That's how the gray squirrel plants the trees that feed it. Well, any acorn a blue jay chooses not to eat stays safely in the ground. Then, when the snow melts and the sun shines in the spring, those uneaten acorns grow into oak trees. That's how the blue jay plants oak forests. <gasps> blue jay's better. Gray squirrel's greater. Blue jay. Gray squirrel. Blue. Gray. Blue. Gray. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Check this out. A gray squirrel digs a fake hole to fool acorn predators, like deer and wild turkey. Turkeys eat acorns too? Yeah, look. The turkey is tricked. The squirrel buries the acorn safely over there. Ha, now that's clever. And we can bury 300 acorns in a single day. Please. <laughs> Just one acorn at a time? Us Blue Jays, we can stuff one acorn into our expandable throat pouch. Then two, three, four in our throat pouch and an extra one in our mouth. Then fly off with all five acorns at once. All the way over here. No, oh, there's gotta be another bird of paradise around here somewhere. That didn't take long. Listen. It's the superb bird of paradise. He's calling out to the female to let her know he's about to do his courting dance. Oh, the superb might not be the most colorful bird of paradise, but this guy has talent. He can sing and dance. Oh, and he's about to put on a show for the female to prove he's healthy and strong. The show's about to start. I'm sure he can teach us a few cool dance moves. Whoa. Look what he can do with his feathers. He's dancing circles around her. Wow, with a huge blue happy face. That's impressive. I'm gonna name him Smiley because of his big blue smile. Oh, there goes the female. Guess she thought Smiley needed more practice. I gotta try some of those moves. What? Oh, oh nice trip. See you next fall. Oh, that's harder than it looks. <laughs> Dancing Birds of Paradise, where are you? Oh, hey, Martin, look. It's the Laws Perosia. I hear they're a better dancer than all of the birds we've seen so far. Maybe he can inspire Aviva to find her dance move. What's he doing? Hmm, he's tossing sticks out of the way. Why is he clearing the ground? Because he's making his own stage. Sure looks like it. Wait, it's a lek. You're right. The Laws Perosia creates a dance floor called a lek to prepare for his courting dance. And that looks like fun. I'm gonna clear a dance floor for us too. A bird that clears his stage before he starts. Now that's an animal who takes dancing seriously. I'm gonna name him uh, Hip Hop. <laughs> you're throwing twigs at me, Chris. <laughs> hey, I'm just tossing back the ones you're throwing at me. <laughs> 
Check out the guys, Aviva. They're cleaning the floor. Never seen that before. We're not cleaning, Koki. We're clearing, making our own lek, just like our pal. These guys love being on stage. Right, Hip Hop? I've always been a little shy about being on stage. I can design creature power suits all day, but put me in front of an audience, and I'm as quiet as a mouse. Not me. I kind of like being on stage. Or way in the back, which is where I was when I played a tree in Hamlet. <laughs> Here come the girl Parochias. They never miss a courtship display. Oh, and they all have a bird's eye view perched up in the tree. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah. Oh, I can see the show perfectly from up here. I can see it perfectly from down here too. And I got a whole bag of Cocoa Chews for the show. Get those long legs out of here. Chris will keep Gourmand distracted as long as he can, but we've got to move fast. So let's round up these raptors and get them out of here. Okay, Aviva, you gather the falcons. But which are the falcons? All of these raptors have similar features. You're right, but the different groups of raptors, hawks, eagle, falcons, owls, and vultures, each have special features. Falcons have long, thin wings and black patches under their eyes. On it. Koki, could you handle the hawks? Sure I could, if I knew what one looked like. Like her. Shorter, broader wings and wide fan-shaped tails. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Jimmy, can you sort out the owls? Easy. They'll be the ones that hoot before they sink their talons in my face, right? Well, some hoot, but all owls have round faces and the biggest eyes. And I'll wrangle the eagles, the biggest and most powerful birds of prey. Let's go, Wildcrats. Falcon. Hawk. Owl. Eagle. Ha <laughs> ha, now that's what I call a raptor roundup. We've got eagles. Hawks. Falcons. Owls. Uh, that's four, but didn't you mention five basic groups of raptors? Hmm. <gasps> vultures! We forgot the vultures! Come on, everybody, grab a vulture! Here, pretty, 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 pretty! I hope Chris and the Falcon Powers can keep Gourmand distracted oh, a little damn. bit longer. Come here! Come and get me, Gourmand! <laughs> vulture's secure. <laughs> Let's fly out of here. What about Chris? He'll be fine. He's got Peregrine Falcon powers. Take that! And that! If I tuck into a super stoop, the Peregrine Falcon's fastest dive, I can outfly your monster. Uh oh! Woo! Yoohoo! Ha! Own appetite! I've been hit! I'm going down! Chris needs help! All right, we've got to help him. But we can't show up around Gourmand with a truck full of raptors. First, we'll let all the African raptors go. Marshall Eagles, away! So long, spotted owls! Be free, chanting goshawks! <gasps> I don't believe it. It's a green-breasted mango hummingbird. That is cool. A hummingbird? I love hummingbirds. Ay, que bonito how colorful and cute he is. Like a flying flower. The most beautiful bird I've ever seen. And check out his flying action. A hummingbird can do things most other birds can't do. Most birds can only move forwards by flapping his wings up and down. But a hummingbird can hover, flying in place, even fly backwards. We've got to figure out how he does that. Already on it. Are you getting this, Koki? His wings are beating 100 times per second. Huh? Humans can only flap arms four times per second. <laughs> With those hummingbirds flapping at 100 beats per second, that's too fast for our eyes to see them. Can you play it back in slow-mo? Done. Look at that. Now that's different. 
His wings aren't just going up and down like other birds. Mm. They're moving in a figure eight. That's it. That's what must give him those unique flying powers of the hummingbird. Exactamente. The figure eight pattern pushes air away in all four directions. That's what enables him to float in the air, hovering. <gasps> His flying is out of this world. Hey, that's it. Out of this world flying. Spaceship. That's what I'm going to name you. Spaceship. <gasps> he can even fly upside down. This is the perfect hunting grounds for the purple martin. Insects are hatching out of the river. And today it's mayflies. Whoa, out of the air. Off the surface. He takes a sip of water to wash it down. Wow. Oh. These powers are so awesome, you can't help catching insects. Cool. Ah, there, I heard you. You admitted it. Martin powers are cool. Yeah, well, the bird Martin powers, I mean. Hey, check it out. Why are they all going over to the riverbank? Let's find out. It's a purple Martin colony. This is rare. What do you mean, rare? There are so many of them. Well, yeah, they're colonial nesters, but it's very rare to find them nesting in natural cavities anymore. Check it out. Today, purple martins on the East Coast only nest in gourds and houses put out for them by people. Martin's right. He should be. They're talking about martins. Hey, where's she going? She has chicks. Oh, they're kind of cute in a really weird way. They look hungry. Oh, bird moms always bring food back for their chicks. Yeah, the thrush brings worms, blue jays bring caterpillars, and peregrine falcons bring other birds. So what do pigeons bring? Cupcakes? French fries? Pizza crust? Wait a sec. Huh? Her beak's empty. What's going on? Huh? Am I losing my mind, or is the mother pigeon spitting up milk for her baby? A bird giving milk? But, but, only mammals give milk. Kangaroos feed their young milk. Horses feed milk. Bears feed milk. But not birds. Except for the pigeon. A milk-like liquid is definitely flowing out of the walls of her throat directly into the chick's beak. Pigeon milk. Pigeons are one of the few birds in the world that feed their young milk. Weird, but way cool. We've really got to rethink our thoughts on pigeons. Yeah, even the most ordinary animals do extraordinary things. Uh, Chris, do you realize you're leaning on your activation button while the pigeon pecks your nose? Uh-oh. Chris! Chris! <laughs> Uh, Chris, you're eating an old french fry. Pew! Okay, brother of mine. Now you've got pigeon powers. <laughs> Whatever that is. Oh, and by the way, I'm not thirsty for pigeon milk right now or ever. <laughs> Martin, I'm feeling really weird. Birds of a feather flock together. Peregrine Falcon! She's hunting. Pigeons! Here she comes. She's going into that dive called a stoop. Fly, bro, fly! Ah! Ah! We found the falcon, but the falcon found Chris in his pigeon suit! On our way! Ah! Ah! But one good thing, what I thought was pigeon fat is really pigeon muscle. These pigeons have powerful chest muscles pumping their wings. Speedometer reads 60 kilometers per hour. Fast for level flight. But the Falcon's faster. 380 kilometers per hour. Oh, wings tucked in. Hyper streamlined. She's letting gravity pull her to Earth, cutting through the air like an arrow. The fastest animal in the world. 